if you have a Google account, this Google account is used to manage many Google services. Like for instance, it is used to manage your YouTube channel. It is also used in Google Docs and so on and so forth. If you want the ultimate protection, for your Google account and you want to prevent it from it being hacked, Google provides a free service called Advanced Protection Program. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enroll in this Advanced Protection Program, what you need to enroll, so what are the requirements, and also we'll be testing it on my Android device and on my Windows PC. And at the end, I'm going to show you also how to unenroll from this Advanced Protection Program in case you don't need it anymore. To enroll in the Google Advanced Protection Program, you will need two security keys. They can both be hardware security keys, FIDO compatible, like these two keys. So this one is from Google, it is the Titan key. And this one is from, that is, I got it from Amazon, and it is also FIDO compatible. Alternatively, you can also use the keychain that is on your phone as a security key, plus one of these hardware security keys also. So here I have my iPhone. I'm going to use it also and I'm going to show you how to use it as one of the security keys. You can also use, of course, your Android phone, your iPad or your Android tablet. So now I'm going to show you first what are the precautions you need to do on your Google account before enabling the advanced protection program. In order for you not to be locked out of your Google account in case you lose the keys or in case the keys will not work for any reason, you need to make sure that you have a recovery phone and recovery email set in your Google account. So let's here make sure that I have these on my account. So I'm going to switch to screen recording to show you this. So this is Google Chrome. I'm going to go to my account on Google Chrome. So go to my account.google.com. And this is the account that I'm working on. So this is a test account only for the purpose of this video. Click on security in your account. And here scroll and make sure you have a recovery phone and recovery email. And you see here, I don't have any of these. So I'm going to add both of these to my account. I'm going to start with the recovery phone. So I'm going to click on add recovery phone. And then I'm going to put the phone number that I have. So once you put your phone number, click on get code and then put the code that you receive on your phone by SMS, in this case here, to verify your phone. And here's the code, let's click on verify. And now the phone is added. So let's go back and do the same to add a recovery email. So now we can enroll in the advanced protection program. So let's open a new tab. And by the way, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for these security keys in case you wanna check them out. So here, go to G, dot co slash advanced protection so this will take you to the advanced protection splash screen here as you see and then click on get started so here is giving you an overview on how you are protected if you enable advanced protection program so i'm gonna give you an example so for instance it will prevent you from installing android applications that are outside of the google play store or that are outside of the manufacturer's store also for your Android device. And I'm gonna demonstrate this to you after we enable this on my Android tablet. So here to start the enrollment, click on get started. And on this screen, it will tell you that you can get these keys from Google. So now I have the keys, so I'm gonna click on register security keys. And you should register two keys for backup purposes because if you lose one of the keys, you can still use the other key. So as a main key here, I'm going to add my security key. That is this, that this key that I got from Amazon. So I'm going to click on add main key and then click on next. And here it will give you the choices of what are the keys that you can use. So for now, I'm going to click on security key and then click on next. And here click on OK to continue and OK again. And now it's telling you to insert the key in your PC. So I'm gonna insert it in my PC. And the good thing about this Tethys key is that it has a USB-C port and also a USB-A port. So I'm gonna use USB-C port. And now it is inserted and I need to touch the security key. It has a button that I'm gonna press. So now the pass key is saved to the security key. I'm going to click on OK. And then click on Done. And now we need to add the backup key. So click on Add Backup Key. And then Next. And then here I'm going to choose iPhone, iPad or Android device. And then I'm going to click on Next. 
and here it will tell you to scan this QR code with your phone and this is what I'm gonna do and then tap on save key so here it says device connected and now use your touch ID to sign in or sign in with your code or with your face and then here it will tell you that the pass key is saved and then click on done so now we have the two keys that are registered in our Google account now click on next and now after Google detects that you have the two keys saved it will give you the option to enroll so click on enroll and then enroll so now what will happen is that it will sign you out from all the devices where you were signed in before so here on my Windows PC I got signed out so I'm gonna sign back in and what it did is that on top of enrolling me in the advanced protection program it also enabled two-factor authentication with the two security keys that I just created so here I'm gonna click on next and now here you have the option to use one of the security keys to log in I'm gonna use a security key to log in so I'm gonna click on it and then click on next and now the security key that I have is protected with a pin so in case your security key is new the first time you use it it will ask you to provide the pin for the security key and this is what I've done before so here I'm gonna put the pin for the security key and then I'm gonna click on OK and now it detected that the security key is still in the PC and it's asking me to touch it so now this is the button of the security key it is flashing I'm gonna press it and notice how it will log in to my Google account here so now it asks me to put the password because the security key will enable you to log in but you still need to put the password so I'm gonna put my password and now I'm logged in so now I'm gonna show you what happened to my Android tablet that was logged in with the same user that we enrolled in the advanced protection program this is an Android device and you notice that it gave me a notification that action is required on my account so I'm gonna tap on it I'm gonna put the code to log in and now it's asking me to log in once again to this Google account and here I'm gonna tap on next and I'm gonna put my password tap on next and now you see that it's asking me to provide the security key so I'm gonna insert the security key in the USB-C port of my Android tablet and you see it is flashing and now it's asking me to touch it so I'm gonna tap on it here and it should log in and now it logged back in so now I'm gonna show you a demonstration on how when you try to install an application that is outside of the Play Store how the advanced protection program will prevent you from installing this application so I'm gonna go to F-Droid and by the way once you logged in you can remove the security key we don't need it anymore so this is F-Droid here I'm gonna try to install it so I'm gonna tap on free download for Android and then I'm gonna tap on install and now we're gonna see that the advanced protection program will prevent me from installing it and you see that it says app blocked by advanced protection so now what I still want to show you are two things the first thing is how to manage the keys so how to add a key how to delete a key in case for instance you lost one of the keys and you don't want anyone to try to use it you can delete it from your advanced protection program and also I'm gonna show you how to unenroll in case you don't need it anymore so I'm gonna go to Google Chrome once again and here in Google Chrome I'm gonna go to my account .google.com and the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to manage the keys so under advanced protection program click on manage advanced protection and scroll and here you have the keys so you click on manage pass keys to manage the keys so for instance you can rename the key here if you want to so this iCloud chain here I'm gonna rename it to my iPhone for instance I have an iPhone 8 so save so this way I can recognize it and the security key also you can name it so I'm gonna name it that is so that is the security key that I'm using so click on save so now in case for instance I want to remove the security key from the iPhone so I'm gonna click on the X here and then you can remove it and no one can use the keychain anymore on your iPhone to log in to your account so let's go back here and here if you want to unenroll from this advanced protection program you can simply click on manage advanced protection and then click on unenroll here on the first paragraph and then continue and to unenroll you need to sign in first with one of the security keys so I'm gonna click on security key so it's still in the PC 
I'm gonna touch it and now I'm logged in so here you can click on unenroll to unenroll and this is what I'm gonna do and you notice that it activated two-factor authentication when you enrolled even if you didn't activate it before so what are the two-factor authentication it is your password and one of the security keys so here you can also remove the two-factor authentication in case you don't need it I'm gonna keep it because it's better this way if you want to share your experience in enrolling in the advanced protection program of Google or if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comments section below and I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments. I hope that this video was useful to you. In case it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.